Joined by Brett Tavo, author of Unpacking Greatness, a longtime offensive coordinator in high school. Brett, usually we have to kind of go over topics, figure out what we want to talk about with the Chiefs. Not this week. You're fired up about this week's topic <laughs> and this interception, Chiefs against Packers. Yeah, I, I am. It's, uh, you know, one of those things where I think there's a lot of, of misunderstanding about, you know, what took place. And, um, you know, and I think naturally and, and, you know, the wide receivers have been under a microscope with, um, you know, some of the struggles they've had um, and rightfully so. But, they, you know, in, in my opinion and, and, you know, this is all we're, we're all looking through a little bit of a, of a subjective lens here because we're not in the meeting rooms and and understand the, the post snap adjustments and reads and things like that. But, you know, it, you and I were talking today and I, I think we're, you know, both in agreement that uh, that this a lot of this uh, big interception that took place is is on the quarterback here. All right, and we'll talk a little bit about Sky Moore's role and some of the things that have been said out there and potentially why he did what he did here. So let's start about talk about this pre-snap first, Brett, and kind of what Mahomes is seeing. Uh, we, we've heard here now he had this little hand signal by his knee to go to a, a man-beater uh, sort of route here on the outside. So what is he seeing here? What is he trying to do here? So, yeah, the, this play here, it's, it's an RPO. And what, what you've got, the, the O-line uh, and the running back are running uh, basically single uh, single back power. Uh, where uh, the backside guard, Trey Smith, is going to wrap. Uh, they've got a little bit of an adjustment because of the front they're seeing here where both Juan Morris and uh, I believe that's Kelsey are going to block out, and then Trey Smith's going to wrap. Uh, Joe Tooney's going to gap. Humphrey's going to uh, back block or choke like we talked about last week on that trap play on the goal line. And then um, Donovan Smith's going to try to to cut off the backside there. And Mahomes is, you know, I think his read is if I see two over two, I've got an opportunity and he's got a he's got a chance to throw that ball and obviously get that ball out quick because it is an RPO and you've got linemen that are looking um you know that are gap blocking and a guard wrapping because you don't want to get an illegal man down field field penalty. So he's got a favorable look to throw the pass here, as you said, and he gives a little uh, hand signal uh, adjustment to, uh, sees you know what is man coverage. This is a clear cover one. You've got a free safety very, very deep and and man coverage across the board. So he checks to a man beater here. Yeah, so the uh, we go back to the start. Two guys are guarding two up top. So man coverage, you see that. That's why Mahomes checks with the man coverage. You think you got something to beat it, and they're trying to run a rub route here. So uh, why is that getting the situation, Brett? And what are the Chiefs trying to do here? So yeah, this is a a, a switch vertical concept, and and it's good because um, the number two receiver there, Sky Moore, he's basically going to run um, outside this rub here. And ideally what you want to happen is um, Kishan Nixon uh, go underneath or get caught in that traffic, which would open up Sky more vertically, um, you know, just outside the numbers, in between the numbers uh, and the sideline. But what makes this difficult, and I think what, what uh, Mahomes is not expecting, is he works over the top of that. And what this does is it puts him in dominant position to play this vertical route here. Yeah, so let's go real quickly. Here's Nixon after the game said he saw the hand signal, he had done some studying, and he knew what was coming next. If he did not know what was coming next, he would be breaking on Sky Moore here and getting that out route because otherwise Sky Moore's going to be wide open and you're in man coverage. So we can see where that plays into this because right here, he would be busting up field. If he busts up field, then Rasheed Rice is there to pick him off. That's not what happens here because he kind of knows what's coming. Right, yeah, and... Um, as you said, if he tries to fight through that traffic or, or works underneath here, this is an easy explosive play. Uh, but because of a film study and and uh, you know knowing what's coming, he's able to put himself in position um, to, to to obviously get intercepted. So Brett, let's go to this key part right here. So this mm -hmm. is where Sky Moore is coming off the release. He breaks to the outside, and this is right where Mahomes is about to throw it. What should Mahomes do right here when he sees this sort of coverage and sees the man fall off and go behind uh, Rishi Rice on this pick play? Yeah, so um, Nixon here is, you know, he's got a, a, a cushion and his his hips are in position to play that route. So, um, but what he's not in position to do is play this back shoulder throw here. And I think, um, you know, a lot of people, uh, comments I've seen on Twitter, they believe that Sky Moore just stopped his route. And you can see him slow down there, but he's also has to, I think he's expecting a back shoulder throw here. And, you know, you heard so much lately about how these receivers are struggling to adjust to coverage. I think this is a great example of Sky Moore doing exactly what he needs to do. 
um, adjusting to the way this this defender is playing this here in this situation and slowing that route down because if he continues full speed, then you know he's going to run the coverage basically. So he throttles that down to about eighty percent. I think he's expecting that ball to be back shoulder. But what it looks like, um, you know, on a surface level, is that he slowed down and and quit on the route. That's really a really good insight here because again, if you're talking back shoulder here, Brett, where is this ball going? Um, Sky Moore, this is going to go right toward the sideline, correct? He's going to go aim for his back shoulder there. And again, you potentially can still throw Sky Moore open here if you throw it toward that back shoulder and uh, Nixon can't get over the top of the coverage. Yeah, I, I think the way this would play out if he throws that back shoulder, then Sky Moore is going to catch this on about uh, what is about the 42, 43 yard line on his back shoulder and Nixon's still going to be working up field because he's expecting that route to continue vertically. And what you're probably going to end up with right there is a, a you know, I was this, I can't remember. Was this first down? Was it first and um, 10? First yeah, it was ten. first and 10. So what you're going to end up with is, is maybe a second and two um, and, and, you know, on the plus side of the field and, and momentum and, and hopefully going in the score, but instead um, because I, I think Mahomes, you know, misreads the way that Fender's playing this, you get a game changing turnover. To be fair to Mahomes was asked about this play after the game. Immediately said it was, it was his fault, said he should have thrown the back shoulder or thought about that. So we have that evidence there as well. Listen to what Sky Moore said. He said they were expecting the rub route to take away the defender here. They went to a man call, so we heard him say that. But just to be clear here, Brett, you're seeing on here Sky Moore reading the coverage, seeing he doesn't want to go into coverage, and that's why he's throttling down his route, which we've heard so much about in the last 24 hours. I am absolutely seeing that, yes. Yeah, I, I, I think – Sky Moore is doing exactly what he should be doing on this play. Again, big play in the game, uh, biggest EPA swing, biggest win probability swing. Um, we can talk again about receiver, quarterback not being on the same page. Another example here, but I think potentially the blame maybe goes toward the one side we don't expect it to in this particular play. And maybe you want to back off just a little bit of the Sky Moore criticism here based off of what he saw in front of him, because these are the type of adjustments that Chiefs fans have been wanting from their receivers most of the season. Yeah, absolutely. It's <laughs> it's uh, pretty pretty ironic, you know, that you 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 get what you ask for, and it ends in a, ends in a turnover. And you know, sometimes that's just the way it, you know it, it it shakes out in this game. All right. Well, that's gonna do it for the details this week. For Brett, this is Jesse. Be sure to tune in for another episode next week. <laughs>